says I'm live. What's going on? Do we have audio? Okay, I have audio. Why don't I have video? Oh, wait, there we go. Okay, well, it looks like I'm finally live. I don't know what happened there. What? I'm live now. Okay. Well, let's get started. And I'll do some sketching with some puffy animals. Let's see, there's my reference. Let's get a new project started. So let's go over to the pencil. Get a pencil. Let's get some dark lead. There we go. And I'm going to go for the darker pencil instead of the light pencil so it shows it better on your screens. Let's see what else we got here. Trying to undo that. Alright, so if anybody shows up here, there we go. Just start off with some circles and these would be the bodies of whatever I end up drawing on here. Hopefully that shows up okay for you guys. And let's start off with something like a cat. Cool. There's our first one. And let's see. What else do we want to do here? 
I want like a nice big fat pug. Just basically 100% head. tail like a little pig Let's see what else can we do here. We can do like small face, big ears. Kind of a rat mouse thing. about some kind of rabbit. Or is that more of a beaver? Let's do maybe something with a funny nose. Kind of reminds me of tree trunks from Adventure Time. I probably watched too much Adventure Time, if that's possible. Ah, there's my preference. And let's 
let's go down here and let's do let's see how about I'll oh, we'll do like a big lion thing Go. Let's do big pig. Give him some cheeks. Put his feet down here. Another curly Q tail. A sort of bull. Do some shorter horns. Can't even kind of round them off. Make them look a little cuter. There we go. And let's see how about. Nice little plump chicken. There we go. We got our first round of some balloon-like, I don't know, can't even say barn animals because they got an elephant, lion, well, rabbit thing, cow, chicken, dog, kind of looks like Jake, cat. Okay, so let's go make a new layer and maybe kind of darken up some of these lines, make them stand out a little bit more. And let's go back over to our cat here. 
I'll we'll start with the G pen. Give us some nice dark lines. Now, I don't like how this is showing up as a circle. I'm going to change that. Let's change. Where's my brush thingy? Where are my preferences? Let's see, brush type, pen type, let's try this brush size and like a dot, or better yet, let's try tool specific. Ooh, whoa, it's like a little pen nib in the middle now, I don't really like that. Oh, that's better. Now it gets a little dot in the center. Alright. Let's kind of add some more character to this cat. Yeah. Give him some... Give him some fur. And sometimes they just gotta redo those lines over and over again until you get something you like. I kinda want these to be a little scratchy. I'm not looking for perfection. Just wanna do something kinda fun. Comic y. There we go. And I got my little fang, some whiskers. Alright, how's this guy looking? That's looking pretty good. Let's keep, let's finish this guy up here. Some paw beans. Got a fat little paws. And finish up his body. A nice little plump tail, kind of like Garfield. And a lot of other cats. Try to take advantage of the sensitivity of the pen on the Cintiq so that I can get some nice line variation in there to look at more like a, you know, like a comic book drawing. And I'm not going to worry about this overlap because I can just zoom in and take that out a bit.
Great. So let's, uh, that's looking pretty good. I kind of like how that turned out. I might do it a little bit more with the eyes and kind of solidify the nose. Let's give us some, let's give those eyes a bit more depth. There we go. Yeah, it's a little plump cat floating in midair like a balloon. Let's see what else we can what else we can do, do here. So let's hide him for now. And let's see what else did I like. I like how the elephant turned out. Gotta give this guy some kind of some some kind of tail. He's missing something there. I wanted to shy away from the, the big ears didn't want him to make him look like Dumbo. So I'll make a new layer and kind of start with this big head here. Small ears. I want to give him really tiny eyes. It's like elephants don't have very big eyes, but they can have some expressive faces. This is all about blowing things out of proportion, so let's make his feet a little bit larger. A little stumpier. Move this back one up a little bit. Ooh, down like in that one. Just do kind of a hint that last one back there. What kind of what kind of tails do elephants even have? Are they like they're not that long? Oh yeah, they're kind of short, but a tough to fur on the end. So let's just uh. Toot. I'm kind of puffy. And there's our elephant. I go back and clean up some of these lines, maybe thicken it up a bit, but I kind of like how this guy turned out. Let's Clean up some of this. Oops, too much. Now, I'm not drawing at really high resolution because I don't really plan on printing this or anything. I just wanted to draw some fun characters for tonight and kind of share my weird process of how I work through cartoons. It's not for any particular project or anything. I just thought it'd be fun. And if I want to do another project with these characters, then uh, I'll make this a much higher resolution uh, canvas. That's why it's all jaggy. Or next time I might even do it as a vector so I can scale it up and not have to worry about all these jaggies. Cool. Uh, hi Daniel, I just saw your uh, saw you chime in. Sorry about that. Let's 
let's see, let's go over here. There's our elephant. And sure, I like how that looks. So now let's go back and look at the sketch. I'm gonna hide the elephant for now. Yeah, let's do the cow. I really liked how this guy turned out with the oversized head. I'm gonna add a new layer. And let's start with the head. Oh, too much. I always imagine the cow with like big eyebrows. Some baggy eyes. Look on that snout. And give him some big nostrils. The lower part of its jaw. I don't, know, I don't know if I'm too crazy about the eyes. I have to work on that in a little bit. Kind of looks sad, you know? Kind of go for more like wall-like look on him. Him? Her? I'm not sure. And we'll get working on a spot here. I might fill these in a little bit. I'm gonna get some nice rounded horns. This is not too serious. Are cows? Do they have a split hoof or a solid hoof? Hoof, hoof. How do you say that word? Hoof, hoof. Let's see. Cow hoof. Oh man, I cannot spell. It's split. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Oops. You gotta hoof it. Oh, I didn't like how that line turned out. I need like a sock or something. My hand is sticking to the tablet. I think I should get one of those gloves so my hand glides across the tablet. Right now it's kind of sticky. Sweat. Now, I keep that little bulge down there. I want like one nice continuous line. Oh, that's more like it. There's it's a back hoof. A little split down the middle there. Black on the nose. I think cows also have kind of like a tail, almost like an elephant, where it's just kind of, it's like a rat tail with a puff at the end. No, I don't like how that turned out. Well, there we go. I got a nice puffy cow. Let's see. Let's take away the sketch. I'm missing the rest of the uh, the dark areas here. Oh, that just looks out of place now. I kind of like how that turned out. That's pretty cute. Cool, cool.
And let's see here. And should we work on the chicken next? Let's see, what can I do with the chicken? Should we make the beak like pretty big? Or should we leave it pretty small? I almost forgot we need to get this on a new layer. In fact, I'm going to go back and rename this layer really quick so I don't get these messed up. So let's see, and that one's the cat. And this one should be the elephant. Oh, that's the cat. Elephant. And let's see here. This is a cow or a bull? I didn't draw an udder, so maybe it's a bull. Alright, let's do the chicken. I kind of want to work on the chicken. Should we go for like big bug eye chicken? I haven't done bug eyes yet. In fact, let's make the chicken do an expression. I haven't done any expressions here. Doing a really loud thing. Screaming chicken. Oh, I should have looked up that chicken from Moana. That was kind of a funny looking chicken. Or the chicken from uh, Surf's Up. Maybe in the next episode I'll do a, just a bunch of weird cartoony chickens. Kind of go back to my heritage about that chicken from Looney Tunes. I can't remember his name. Uh, God, it was like a big rooster? Red? No. I'll figure it out in a minute. Just give him some simple puffy wings. And I'm trying to loosen up a bit here. I feel like I'm getting a little too tight. That's, that's kind of give him some cartoony chicken feet. Chickens usually have claws or something, right? Like little fingernail things. Now yeah, that just looks weird. <laughs> it's like a little hand. Alright, let's see how our chicken is looking. Oh, it looks like I forgot a section here. Oh, I should give it some kind of tail feathers. Foghorn Leghorn. Yes, thank you, Audrey. Oh yeah, here we go. Get some tail feathers in there. I should also do some research into types of chickens. I know there's like bantam chickens and American reds. Oh, I should also do those, uh, what was it? Chicken Run. The Chicken Run chickens. I really thought their designs were pretty funny. Yeah, look at that chicken. Bagak! Alright, let's fit on the mouth a bit here. Otherwise, it looks kind of funky.
I wonder how I can get a co-host in here. Do I need a microphone? Eh, that's good enough for now. Let's get in here and clean this part up a little bit. I know there's probably some other digital illustration things I should be doing, but I come I come from like pen and ink ancient style where you actually dip a piece of metal into black Indian ink and scrape it onto the paper. Totally messy, but you got some really good results. And now I'm trying to get used to this whole like thinking in pixels thing. Or even, you know, vectors when it comes to dealing with Illustrator. Alright, how are we doing on time? Let's take about another 20 minutes. So I've got my cow, my chicken. What else do we have here? Start with the pug, the mouse. I'm not crazy about my pug. Or the mouse. Or the rabbit. Pig's pretty simple. Let's crank that one out real quick. Piggy. Let's kind of mess up the chick. Let's mess up the pig a little bit here. Invader Zim had a pretty big, funny pig. Let's just do episodes based on one particular animal. Kind of go back and draw some of those famous pigs. Wilbur, Charlotte's Web, Mr. Waddles from, uh, what's it called? I just started watching it the other night. Don't have the kids. Gravity Falls. So it's Gravity Falls pig. They kind of have like curly, pug-like ears. Let's get rid of that here. I don't like that. Yeah, there we go. I like how this pig is turning out. Oh man, this could basically be one continuous motion here. In fact, let's just do that. And then I can go back and erase it for the little peg legs. Yeah, we're going to give some detail to the eyes. Or better yet, let's give this pig some star eyes. compared to our sketch. So we need to add the tail and the little pig feet. I think pig feet are also cloven like cows. spend too much time coloring in stuff. Maybe next episode we'll focus on fewer characters, but 
put some color in there as I get more comfortable with uh, Clip Studio or Photoshop. Still want to try out the uh, Autodesk sketchbook. Tried that a couple years ago and I kind of liked it. Some good features on it. Alright, so we got our pig feet. Let's get our curly Q tail here. Wait, wait. Let's try fix that there. Even if I don't like how this is going, I can always like completely re-ink it just by hiding this layer and making a brand new one. I might redo the pig. There's a few things I'd like to change about it. Maybe go back to doing a bigger but rounder nose. Maybe do something weird with the uh, nostrils, like making them offset. But now, you know, let's go back up and let's do the lion or maybe the pug. That pug's got some big paws. We should probably make those smaller. So let's rename this to pug. And pugs kind of have that weird, what do you call those, jowls? Frab? You know, let's give him uh, some big jowls here. Pugs kind of pant a lot, so I'm going to give him a big tongue. And just a tiny bit of over underbite. And we're going to... This pug's not going to have perfect eyes because pugs have very infinitely worried eyes and they are always always wall-eyed so we're gonna give our pug some wall eyes here start working on the body I'm gonna give him some much smaller paws just to really blow this thing out of proportion Next time I do pugs, I have to bring up a picture of Rando, the pug, and his bike. Or just do dogs. Pug kind of looks like a pig. Pugs just have like weird tails too. Like sometimes they're curly, sometimes they're just kind of straight. But I'm going to envision this guy having a curly tail. All right, how are we doing here? We got a little pug. We got our elephant. Very plain looking pig. I really like how the cow and the chicken turned out. The pug is basically just all head. Cat. I probably should have made that head bigger. More jowls. All right. And you know, let's see. How about since we got started a little late? Oh, it's only, I got 10 minutes, but you know, we can probably crank out the rest of these animals here. Got a lot of layers going, a lot of layers going on. I'm going to do the lion next. Oh, pigs are always adorable, no, no matter how they're drawn. Delicious too. Well, I don't want lion noses are more kind of like snouty, not so much triangular. Give this lion a nice widow's peak. Let's 
do it this way. Let's do these as separate lines. Simba. Simba the lion? Kimba? Anybody anybody remember Kimba the lion? No? The white lion? Of course not. Cool. Our lion has really big mane and eyeballs. Tiny little beady eyes. Oops, did not mean to do that. Yeah, a little bit of highlight to give those eyes <laughs> some charm so they're not just dead soulless eyes. And give our line a body. Paw and lion's paws are kind of like squared. Like they're not, at least the ones I've seen, have been like, kind of like squared off. Still have your separate toes, but they kind of merge together into one a bit more. Yeah, and I don't really think of lions having much in the way of claws either, I mean, although I'm sure they do. Yeah, let's delete, erase some of this. Cool, cool. Oh, gotta go fix this guy. This is behind the body, so I'm gonna get rid of this line. And then, gosh, lions? They probably have longer the tails than elephants, but a little beefier. I just imagine a lot more puff to them, though. Kind of like a paintbrush. Well, how's this looking? So now we have a lion. I should probably come back here and thicken up underneath the mane to give it a bit more depth. Let's bring back our sketch here. Was it a mouse or more of a pika? Yeah, we'll call him a mouse. Or no, we'll call this one a pika. Pika mouse. If you've ever seen a pika, they have really, really big, adorable ears. Yeah, let's get that little body closed up. They don't really have the fur on top. They do have crazy long excessive whiskers. I got a little beady eyes. And we're gonna get them a little highlight. Just probably give them more more in the way of teeth. Alright, how's this how's this weird pika guy looking? we looking compared to our sketch. Whoa, that guy's looking kind of crazy. I should come back here and <laughs> redo his little his mouth. Me. Then we kind of 
that squeaked out. Do they have like massive bottom incisors too? I don't recall. Anyways, pika are just crazy adorable all over the place in the Pacific Northwest, but mostly in like the Columbia Gorge in those scree fields or talus fields. A lot of chipped fallen rock. Alright, I'm going to finish up this guy and see what I have left. Alright, so I got a big pika. He kind of looks like he's like skydiving. Like, ah! Put a little parachute on him. No. Let's get rid of that. Alright, so who's left? Look at the weird looking rabbit here. I don't really like how the rabbit turned out. Kind of looks like the pika. Uh, maybe I'll do something with like smaller eyes, bigger ears. Yeah, uh, maybe I should have done this as a. Uh, well, maybe I'll turn this guy into a a beaver. have like cross hatch pattern going on beavers have whiskers right kind of short ones I'm gonna give this guy more square nose instead I wish like YouTube had some kind of comment notification. Like I don't get any type of like chime or anything when there's a comment. I just have to keep looking up at the at the conversation. Message redacted. Message redacted. I thought beavers had like eyebrows going on. Alright, so what do we have? Let's uh oops, I'm gonna give him some kind of rear foot here. Is there anything else I'm missing in a beaver? Alright, let's see how we're doing compared to my sketch. I'm gonna fix his nose here. That's looking at about better. Okay. Gosh, how many animals did I get in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine animals. Holy crap. Now that's a lot of sketching for uh, one hour, right? 
Let's see, do I, do, I, do I need background in this? If I don't need background, I have to like fill in the, the animals. Let's get rid of the sketch here and kind of review. So I really like how the chicken came out. Should have done a better job with the mouth. Pug doesn't look too bad. In fact, you know, let's fill in the nose on that pug. And where's my bucket? Make it a little faster. Too much. Where's my pug? Pug layer. There we go. Boom. Boom. Now I'll go in with the pen and we can kind of clean this up a little bit. Gotta figure out how to tweak the bucket settings. But this does save quite a bit of time. And we'll give our pug some gleam in his eyes. Right? Almost looks like a sea lion. Oops. And he's thinking about his bone. Pika is saying, Yeep. You got a beaver. Thinking about wood. I should probably put that on the beaver layer. Where's my beaver? Oh, I gotta rename rabbit to beaver. And add a little thought balloon. A little log here. With a chewed in log. What are elephants like? Peanuts? They don't like mice. That's a bad looking peanut. Oh, I'm kind of happy. I'm pretty happy how this uh, turned out. This is pretty fun. I might go back and kind of develop these guys a bit more. It's really just about playing more than you know, like doing serious work. Okay, so it's now been a full hour. You have wasted a full hour of your life watching me do some crazy stuff here. Thank you for watching, and if you didn't make the live stream, don't worry about it. I'm going to keep this posted on my YouTube channel. Um, if you like it, please leave a comment, let me know, and I can work on some more or different drawings. And uh, I'll probably do this again next week, maybe Tuesday or Thursday. We'll see how the week goes. And uh, that's it for now. Cheers!